Dear Simon and the discerning divulgers of delinquency. I'm not, I'm not quite sure that works, but anyway. Yesterday, I was exploring the area around my new office and happened upon a duck pond, which in itself may seem fairly unnoteworthy. However, I was suddenly reminded of a summer approximately 10 years ago and felt compelled to confess my behaviour and throw myself at your collective mercy. At the time, I was working on a business park, the kind on the outskirts of town, where lots of two-storey office buildings are dotted around and they never provide a shop, you know. Boredom rapidly set in on my lunch breaks, and whilst wandering around the estate, I soon found pathways that led off in the direction of greenery. So I followed them. Off the beaten track and through a hedge, I discovered, to my joy, a small lake full of ducks, and not a soul around. It became my daily lunchtime treat. What a spot it was, and with the exception of one like-minded person who came down to read their book, this little oasis was all mine. What made it even better was the fact that there were two large geese living on the island in the middle of the lake. Now, I had chickens at home and always wanted a pair of geese, but my miserable husband always said no, because he said, geese are aggressive, we don't want that kind down our way. So in rebellion, I decided I'd make friends with these geese instead. Every day I took a bag of poultry food to my lake, as I came to think of it, except on Fridays when I'd treat us all to a big bag of chips. <laughs> well, well known food of choice if you're a goose. And over time, the geese got so used to me, they'd come for their lunch when I did my very loud finger whistle. By spring, they'd had eight goslings, and by summer, I had an almost fully grown goose pack of ten, all being fed by me. Now, whilst I still don't agree with my husband's stance that geese are aggressive, they certainly were getting rather pushy, to the point that they'd rip my chips out of the paper uh, that, I, uh, that I then had to, that I bought, and then I'd had to buy them their own bag or three bags as the goslings got even bigger, to have any hope of keeping my own chips on my lap. I think your husband might have been right, really. I think the geese have been quite aggressive. Anyway, one Friday I was wandering down to the lake with our bags of chips when I saw intruders heading towards my bench. Three youths were running around and yelling and chasing and frightening all of the ducks. One of them deliberately threw their fizzy drink can into the lake. Then all three started chucking stones. The parent, who was with them, did nothing and sat on my bench opening bags of chips <laughs> my like-minded book reader who was there got up to leave and as he passed me he whispered do that whistle that you do <laughs> so I, mean, I waited until all the hoodlums were sat on my bench I waited until they all had their chips open on their laps and I then did my loudest finger whistle of all time and like a feathered tidal wave, my goose pack came steaming across the water. I, I don't think the hoodlums realised what was happening until it was too late. The goose wave struck the shore and all ten hammered over and surrounded them in their chips in a honking, flapping and grabbing frenzy. I hid behind a tree, watching, I have to say, with considerable satisfaction as chips and paper and screaming children scattered in various directions and the family fled, never to be seen by my lake again. At this point, please note, I wouldn't have done it uh, if Book Reader hadn't planted the idea. And I'm not asking for any forgiveness from the children who I feel will have learnt to respect animals or their parent who should have known better. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. But I do feel bad and would like forgiveness because I did it again at a later date of my own accord. A spaniel was diving in and out of the water, barking obsessively and getting on my nerves. So I whistled my goose pack thinking and they, ch I whistled my goose pack thinking that they'd chase him out of the water, but they actually frightened him quite badly. So I like dogs and that made me feel a little bit rotten and I'm asking for forgiveness from the spaniel. <laughs> but as far as the earlier incident, is concerned, which just involves the hoodlums, I don't need any forgiveness at all. So uh, let's see what uh, what Joe makes of that. Then. So we're asking for forgiveness for the spaniel from the spaniel. Well, is yeah, right? I mean, Lisa, Lisa, Lisa is thinking I feel a bit bad for I the can spaniel. Ask weirder questions. <laughs> 
um, if we can just talk generally about this, I, yes. I quite like the fact that she created her own goosey Nirvana, and obviously she had a very grumpy, grumpy husband. I'm slightly scared of geese myself, so I think she's very brave. Um, but I do like the fact she created this whole family and this whole kind of little oasis that she used to go to and a nice scenario. And I think the uh, the obviously the uh, hoodlums in question obviously got their just desserts. And when it comes to the spaniel, I think it's a little bit harsh on the spaniel to be honest, to be set upon by a whole load of geese. So it's just the way nature is, Joe. It just is. the way nature is. I've got I've got a sprudel who loves chasing swans and ducks and anything with feathers. He'll never catch them in a million years because they're way too fast. Obviously, keep all dogs under control. Just okay, anti- too right. Too just right. anticipating the uh, the emails and that. But you no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm saying it's a terrible thing and it's yes. a nightmare. And um, yeah, definitely keep them on the lead. So, forg- are you forgiving Lisa or not? I am forgiving. You are okay. So, uh, what do you think, Bobby? Oh, Lisa, let me buy you chips every day for that. Um, I mean, the thing is, there is that, always that kind of fear that if you put those uh, geese in the company of the youth and in close proximity, there's just the risk that it could have gone horribly wrong. But it didn't, so it's fine. And actually, I believe in what you did was probably the right thing. They did need a lesson. What was the adult doing anyway? Not I, saying I, anything. I mean, we've, I think we've all seen it at some point when, you know, people are brought up differently and maybe there's a lesson there. So there you go. So I, I just need to buy you chips because you're a woman after my own heart. And as far as the spaniel's concerned, it's tricky because it's difficult to keep spaniels under control because it's what they do. Mm. They're, they're hunting dogs. So. Yeah, well, that's sprudel. That's what yeah. we've got, a spring of So poodle. they're doing what they're trained to do, but not necessarily in the right place so mm. I think on this occasion ah, I don't know really yes yes you're forgiven okay. and I will still buy you 